they're making donut balls with only two ingredients we got to try this out oh my goodness hello sirs and madams me kaka here and today we are going to be making two ingredient donut balls first you need some greek yogurt over here okay and then you need uh, some self rising flour okay now if you don't have the self rising flour then you can take one cup of regular all purpose flour and mix it in with one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and add a little bit of salt and you get your own self rising flour but before we start i need to make a quick phone call beep, 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 beep. hello is this dunkin donuts hey i'm very sorry but uh, i think we should see other people who is it oh it is a uh, d d who these donuts pada tong 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 okay so first we're going to measure out one cup of flour because i don't have self rising flour so i have to make it with the ingredients i told you earlier so we're going to take one cup of flour oh my goodness it's going to spill everywhere. oh my goodness it's spilling everywhere why is it so clumpy clumpy gumpy Okay, that's about about uh, one cup, maybe a little bit less. It's okay. Oh my goodness, this this jar is very heavy. Okay, so we got one cup of flour. Okay, and then we are going to take uh, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder to make our own self rising flour. So one, and uh, I think that is a half. That looks like a half. Okay, and then we're going to mix it together. You know what? Spoons don't work. We need a whisk. Okay, and then we're going to whisk. 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 I can't even say the word. Uh, I need some salt. And then you add a little bit of salt. Himalayan pink salt. Oh, this is backwards. Himalayan pink salt. Uh, you want to do maybe a pinch or two. I like a little bit of saltiness in my donut balls. You know, salty balls are very good. Okay, so we're going to we're going to whisk the uh, the concoction I made here. to make it uh, self rising and you got to make sure you mix it very very good okay you know i wonder uh the self uh, self rising flour uh, also work on other things let's find out i'm going to take a little bit put it in here now we have a problem here i need to get this video done because if this works i need to get this video done within 10 minutes Otherwise, not only are we going to be making donut balls, but we're also going to be making midi churros. <laughs> okay, so let's do that. Now we need a, a three fourths of a cup. I know earlier I said one cup, but we need three fourths of a cup of uh, Greek yogurt. So uh, how do we do this? Um, now there is a big difference between regular yogurt and Greek yogurt. See, regular yogurt has a lot more liquid in it. Greek yogurt is a lot thicker, okay? And the reason why is because they drain a lot of the water out to make it thicker. So we're going to take three fourths of a cup of Greek yogurt. How do you measure this thing? Oh my goodness, this is so thick. Like my eyes, close my heart. I don't know, you know, very bad. So we got three fourths of a cup. Mmm, mmm, that is very good, very very good. Okay, now this is the worst part here. because we have to mix it by the hand okay so i'm going to get my hands dirty and jog it i don't want to do it should i get a glove let me get a glove one second i'll be right back okay sirs and madams i got my hand condom on okay now we're going to mix the flour and the yolk yogurt greek yogurt together oh my goodness this is going to be making a mess who is going to do the clean up later on What kind of you know? This, it might be easier just to go to your local donut shop and get your own munchkins. But uh, let's see. Oh, this is so cold! I need cold Greek yogurt, and my hands are getting pro. Oh, Arey, what is this? Looks like someone took a flower tatty on my hands. I'm very sorry, but my hand is getting tired in here. Oh my goodness! This is like, like worse than the Play-Doh. Oh my goodness! This feels so disgusting. It is like a mushy, mushy uh, diarrhea. Oh, oh my goodness! What is this? 
It is not even coming into a dough ball. What did I get myself into? I want to cry right now. So I want to give you a piece of advice. If you have a, a, a flour mixer, I suggest highly that you use it because this is very messy and it's sticking to all my gloves and everything else. And now I'm going to use my regular hands and it's going to even get worse because uh, I'm having problems. Okay, after you made, <laughs> I don't know what the hell this is, but after you made your dough ball, then I don't think this is going to be correct, but what you do is you take off a little piece and you roll it into balls. A uh, smaller ball, maybe like one inch of balls, one inch, of, one inch donut balls. Look at this. I look like a uh, Freddy Krueger. Uh, so you roll them into balls. Okay. I right, don't have a place to put them. I'll put them in the back in the back in the bowl. Okay. So we got one there. So I made five balls out of that. Some people might even make eight balls. I don't know. Some people might only have two balls. But at the end of the day, I made some balls. The air fryer is ready to get the fryer balls. Um, I don't know why uh, no one told me earlier, but I had a little bit of yogurt. I had felt like I was in a mini gut milk commercial. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the air fryer. I'm going to add a little oil at the bottom of it. Uh, just to make sure it don't stick to the pan. Okay. And then I'm going to take the donut balls and I'm going to spray it with I can't believe it's not butter. You remember that uh, it is Fabio? He was riding on the horse and he goes, I can't believe it's not butter. With his hair flailing everywhere. What a commercial. It is 90s, but amazing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so we're going to spray a little bit. I'm going to get a spoon because I don't want to get my hands all dirty. And I'm going to take one ball and I'm going to put it. Ooh, so greasy. Okay, we're going to. Oh, son of a fell ball. My ball fell. My ball fell. Man down. Okay, we're going to add the balls to the air fryer. Oh, that one fell too. And then I'm going to give it a, uh, a little more uh, spritz on the top, just to make sure they don't stick. And I'm going to cook it at 400 degrees for 12 minutes. But that didn't sound good. And we'll be back after 12 minutes. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, during the halfway mark, it is uh, very auspicious if you uh, open it up and you kind of rotate the donut ball so they cook evenly. So that is what I'm going to do right now. And then we're going to discuss um, toppings that you can put on your donut ball. So let me open it up. Uh, it is looking, uh, it is looking uh, very, very good. Very, very good. Let's see. It's looking, uh, it is looking uh, very, very good. See here, I'm going to rotate it a little bit. Oh, don't get too burnt here, buddy. Oh, wow. I think I made some balls big and some balls small. Welcome to the world! Okay, so I wrote it to them. So I want to discuss a couple of toppings you can do. I think in the video they did uh, some uh, melted bisco. Um, you could also do some butter and cinnamon, which I'm going to do today because I don't have any of those ingredients. So I'm going to melt some butter, add some cinnamon to it. And when the donut balls are done, I'm going to um, uh, rotate them into the bowl and uh, coat them with the cinnamon and the butter. And then you can also do, uh, let's see, a Nutella. You can do, uh, uh, what is it, uh, powdered sugar. You can also do um, uh, salt and pepper. Um, you know, Shah Apujit, very good, okay. So we will be back uh, when the donut balls are done. In the meantime, I'm going to melt some butter and uh, add some cinnamon and make a concoction here, okay. Okay, sirs and madams, our donut balls have been completely cooked. I hope so, I don't know. So we're going to open it up. And let's take a look at them. Oh wow, look at that. Very brown, very hot. So I'm going to plate them. And what I'm going to do is, while they're still hot, I'm going to dip them. So I made my uh, butter and cinnamon. Looks like uh, diarrhea water. And I'm going to uh, roll them around. I'm going to keep one knot rolling. So I'm going to open it up and show you the insides. Hopefully it is cooked. Hopefully it is. So I'm going to roll it around in the, uh, in the, the shimadam, shimadam butter. Okay, I'm going to let it cool down a little bit um, because if I open it up uh, with my hands, you know what, I'm going to use a knife. Okay, so we got our four, oh, that smells very cinnamony, very good. We got our donut balls. I know they're not perfect like the video because uh, I don't know. I, I'm not a good round, round balling person, okay? 
So once your donut balls have cooled down a little bit, I'm going to take the one that I didn't put uh, any cinnamon in on, on it. I'm going to cut it in half and let's see what it looks like. Oh, very crisp. Oh my goodness. What in the Shadaramadama Dangalinga along is this? Look at this. Mmm. Wow, that is like a like a like a bread, like a it is a mini donut. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to pour some of my cinnamon sugar all over it now since we opened it up. I want to get it extra cinnamon in here, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now we're going to give it a try. Oh, it's still hot. Okay, Mr. Two Ingredients, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, Mini Munchkins. Let's see if you're up to the hype. Oh my goodness. That tastes fantastic. Okay, it's time for me to get fat. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please follow and subscribe. We are going to be doing a lot more cooking videos here. A lot more reactions, a lot more crazy stuff with your favorite Indian uncle, Mitkaka. Okay, ding, ding, ding. Thank you. Come again.